guys what is up and welcome back to another video today we are going to be budgeting out my next cash stuffing and we're kind of just gonna go over where i want all the money to go see where i need money and we're just gonna get started so uh, this is my notebook i get a lot of questions on where this notebook is from and i get like one of these every year to keep my um budget in but it's from a store called typo and it's in our mall, so I don't really know um, if they have like stores, like regular stores, but it's in like a mall. So yeah, and they also have a website too. Um, but what we're gonna do is go through my binders and just see where I need to stuff some money. So we are going to be budgeting $400, and this money is left over from um, taxes from extra money that I saved for taxes that I didn't end up needing. So if you guys are new to cash budgeting or you're unsure of what I'm doing, basically I cash my paychecks or in this case it's my extra tax money. I have it all right here. We're not stuffing it today. We're just going to budget it. But what you do is cash your paychecks and then basically tell the money where to go and you put it in each specific envelope. So that's what we're going to be doing. And what I like to do first is just kind of write out what we're going to be stuffing. And it is the 6th. Oh gosh, I just smudged all of this. Okay, so we're stuffing $400. So what I'm gonna do is go through all of my categories and just write them down first, and then I will start divvying up the money. And then now I'm gonna move on to my sinking funds. And we will divvy these up. These are long-term savings categories that I like to save for. And we're gonna start with my general savings. Okay, you guys, so. Here's all of my categories. And also, if you guys are curious, these pens are from the brand Click Art. And they're like a marker pen, basically. It's really crazy. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is start divvying up this money. So let's see. Got my calculator and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So what I like to do is start with $400 on my calculator and then start subtracting as I go through my categories. So up first we have utilities and I stuffed a lot this past time so I already have $100 in here and I usually try to get this to $150. So I am just going to do $20 this time. So minus $20. And if you guys are new, um, I am a stay-at-home mom and I make money through my YouTube channel and through my Etsy shop. So um, I am responsible for paying all of the bills for the household aside from the rent in our health and like dental insurance and stuff like that. Um, my boyfriend pays for those. So here's the bills that I have to pay. Also, if you guys are new, my car is fully paid off. I paid that off last year, I think the end of last year, early this year. And I don't have any student loans and I don't have any um, consumer credit card debt. So the only technical debt I have is the hospital bill that we will work on later, but um, I'm just stuffing just regular bills right now. Okay, Xfinity is our Wi-Fi and internet, so we're going to put 20 in there. This is $70 a month, and I already have 30 so we'll be at 50 and then the next check I'll just do 20 and that will be fully funded. Um, and then our electric bill, I'm also going to put 20 and this is, um, it was only like, or it's going to be a little bit over $80 this time. It kind of runs from like the middle of the month to like the beginning middle of the next month. So I already know how much it's going to be and it's right around 80 bucks. So 
I'm just gonna put 20 this time because it's not that high and I already have 40 in there. And then my car insurance, I'm gonna put 30. Yeah, let's do 30. Um, I pay this every six months, so I'm saving up for that. And then Stella, I'm gonna put 15. 325 and then let's see lawn care I'm gonna put 15 as well okay and then I pay my yard guys $60 a month so I am ahead in this category but I just want to stay ahead and then my phone bill I'm gonna put 20 and this is $50 a month and then my hospital bill, we're doing our usual 50. Oops, <gasps> wait, I forgot to subtract some stuff. Okay, let me start this over. So 400 minus 20 minus 20 minus 20 minus 30 minus 15 minus 15 minus 20 minus 50. Okay, so yeah, my hospital bill is $160 a month. I already have 50, so I usually do 50, 50, 60 um, each week. All right, and then my baby's birthday for next year, I'm gonna try and stick to doing $10 every time I do a stuffing, um, just so I can slowly start saving up for his birthday. So I'm just gonna do $10 this time. Yeah, I think that's good. And then lastly is my renter's insurance, and I'm just gonna do five because it's already at 125 so, and it's not due till September, so I think I'm good for that binder. So that is all of my bills, and now we're going to do my sinking funds, and so I have $195 left to play with. So for my savings, I think I'm just going to do, I'm actually going to do 20. So minus 20, and then for my um, emergency, I'm just going to put 10 and I don't really have a goal for this category. I'm just saving basically indefinitely, um, just cause you never know, but I'm currently at 1370 and then let's see. I'm going to put 15 in here. And then for fun, I'm going to put, I'm going to put 20 and I'm going to round it off to 200. Yeah, so that is 200 so far, which is actually really exciting. Okay, and then here's where I wanted to do something. So I still have $130. Okay, this might be crazy, but I'm going to put $50 in here and there's a couple reasons for that. So I have 30 already. So that'll be 80. We okay, my me, my best friend and her sister, we are going out for Mother's Day. Um we're all moms, but we're not going with our kids. Our kids are staying home with the dads, but we are going to go out for brunch and get mimosas um Saturday. Um so I think I'm going to take all this money for that. I know my boyfriend will probably give me money to try to pay for it but he's already gonna be taking me to dinner that night. And if I wanna buy something while we're out shopping, I wanna have a little bit of money. So I'm gonna put 50 in there. So that would put me at 80, which I think is good. And then my baby, um, I'm just gonna put 10. And then I'm actually just gonna put 10 in here too. And then car maintenance, I'm gonna put 10. That'll be at 350. This is gonna get its usual five. Yeah, because this is, I just put five in there usually. And then medical, I'm just gonna do five as well, just cause that's not like a huge priority right now. So I have $40 left. And I know that I'm going to put 20 in Christmas because I always do that. Um, 
you know what? I'm going to do 15 in holidays and five in retirement. Okay, so yeah, holidays is going to get 15. Yeah, that's better because I have a lot of holidays coming up and I need to... I need to get this a little bit more beefed up. So 15 in there. Okay, so that is kind of how I budget out my paycheck. And I just wanted to end on this note by saying, if you guys don't have a lot of extra money to stuff into your sinking funds, please do not get discouraged. Just make sure your bills are taken care of. Stuff anything extra you can into a little bit of savings. It doesn't have to be 10 categories, you guys. It can literally just be one savings category. Keep adding little by little to it, and I promise it will add up, you guys. Consistency is key. Please do not give up. Even if you can only add $5 every time, I promise it will add up. So please keep going. Please don't give up, and don't get discouraged if you don't see huge progress like overnight. It takes time. I'm going to take a sip of this really quick. This is iced coffee. And it is late at night, but I don't care. I'm still going to drink it. And we're going to have a great time. So, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your budget this week. I hope you can stay on track. Um, and yeah, I will see you all soon with the cash stuffing of this money. So, bye guys. Thank you.